What's the best free live streaming tool for YouTube? OBS Studios or StreamYard? We're about to find out. First, I'm gonna cover the most important features people are gonna be looking for in a live streaming application. So can these applications add text? Yes, both of them can. With OBS Studios, you can add text using any font that's on your computer. You can move it anywhere you want on the screen. You can add drop shadow and stroke and also scroll text. With StreamYard, it's really easy to add text. The text is gonna be located in the bottom thirds and you can configure it in a couple of different ways. Do both of these applications give you the ability to share your screen? Yes, they both do. OBS Studios allows you to share browser tabs, application windows, or an entire screen from your computer. StreamYard also allows you to share browser tabs, an application window, or any screen from your computer, and it's really simple to use. Can I use a green screen with these applications? The answer to this is yes. OBS Studio has a very comprehensive green screen piece that has all kinds of options and makes it really easy to tweak your green screen any way you want it. StreamYard has a really simple green screen tool and it works really nicely. The only complaint I have is StreamYard does not give you the ability to crop your green screen shot. Can you add guests with these applications? The answer is yes, absolutely. OBS Studio gives you the ability to add guests using any streaming application. So you can use Skype or Zoom or even Google Hangouts and add those folks into your stream anywhere you want. StreamYard makes it really easy to add a guest. All you have to do is share a link. The guest will click on the link, add their camera and microphone, and then you can just add them right into your stream. This is where StreamYard really shines. They make it so easy. Can you add an overlay to your broadcast? The answer to this is yes, sort of. With OBS Studio, you can add any sort of overlay you want, whether it's a motion overlay or just a static overlay, so that you can place assets anywhere you want on your live stream. StreamYard does have the ability to add an overlay, but it's not included with the free product. Can I add a video? The answer to this, again, is yes, sort of. OBS Studios allows you to add a video from your computer of any length, and you can place it anywhere you want on the screen. StreamYard does allow you to add video up to 30 seconds, but it's not included in the free product. Can you record your stream? The answer to this again is yes, sort of. With OBS Studios, you can record your stream, but you have to be a little bit careful. Unless your computer's pretty powerful, recording the stream can be problematic. StreamYard does give you the ability to record your stream. Unfortunately, it's not included with the free product. Now that we've covered the most important features, let's talk about the pros and cons of each of these applications. How easy are these applications to set up? OBS Studio is an application that runs right on your computer. And this means you have to set up everything manually based on your internet connection and how fast your computer is. And this can be time consuming and a little bit difficult. StreamYard is a web application. So it's really easy to just add your YouTube channel in there, create a stream, put all the stream information in and click go live within just a couple of minutes. Computer usage. How hard are these applications on your computer? One of OBS Studio's flaws is that it can be very computer intensive. If you set it up improperly or you have an older computer that isn't very fast, OBS Studios can give you a lot of problems. StreamYard doesn't actually run on your computer, so it takes up almost no computing power. If your connection is strong enough to stream video out at a reasonable rate, it should work fantastic on any computer. What are the text features like on these two applications? OBS Studio has a really robust text feature that allows you to create just about any sort of text you want and place it anywhere you want on the screen. StreamYard's text features are really easy to use, but you don't have a lot of options and you can only place the text in the lower third banner area. How easy is it to add a guest? With OBS Studios, it can be pretty challenging to add a guest, and a lot of that has to do with how many options you have. And it's going to take you some time and a lot of testing to get it right. With StreamYard, it's as easy as just sharing a link with the guest you want to add, and within a couple of minutes, they're actually connected to you and live on the stream. It's so easy. What sort of layout options do you get with these applications? 
With OBS Studios, your layout is unlimited. You can use as many assets as you want and place them anywhere on the screen that pleases you. StreamYard has a very limited number of layout options, and this is due to the fact that it's a web app. They've gone for ease of use instead of lots of different options to really help new people be able to get live streaming really quickly. Overall ease of use. OBS Studio is challenging to use. It has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you learn it, it has nearly unlimited options. StreamYard is extremely easy to use. You can be set up and running in just a couple of minutes. The trade-off to how easy it is is it just doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of layout options or text options or added features. So what's the final verdict? Which one of these products is best for you? If you're a person who wants to live stream a couple of times a month, you have an older computer that can't really handle too much, and maybe you want to add guests and do things like that, StreamYard may be the answer for you. Because it runs on a web application, you don't need a powerful computer to run it. And it really shines when you're adding guests to a broadcast. Some of the big downsides for me are that you have to actually pay for the application in order to remove the watermark in the top right hand corner. For me, that's kind of a deal breaker. You also only get 20 hours of live streaming on the free StreamYard service. Now, I'm not against paying for an application if I see value in it, but I have to say there are other paid applications out there that are more of a one-time fee, like Wirecast, that offer much more versatility than StreamYard does, and also provide the same external platform benefits. If you have a relatively robust laptop that you're going to be streaming on, you want the ability to stream more than 20 hours a month, or you just want the freedom to be able to do pretty much anything you want with your live stream as far as layout and text options go, then OBS Studio is probably for you. Ultimately, you're going to have to decide which option is right for you, but honestly, they're both amazing applications, and I don't think you could go wrong either way. If you want to learn more about OBS Studio and the things it can do, there's a playlist right here that can run through all kinds of different tutorials for you. My name is Michael Fire Jr. and this channel is all about info and applications that can help you become a better YouTuber. If that's something you're into, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel to see what we do next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.